today innovation teams are kept separate from the teams which are within the company which are doing regular production activity so that's a very critical thing which uh, happened over here and these are the you know first prototypes which came up of both the pumps the mono pump and the dual pump will it be easy to change the cards here of course will it be a bonnet type of design yes this whole panel drops down like this there the petrol pump lifted like this here we are dropping down like this so you need to have all the features inside the pump without that maintenance features doesn't work so maintenance very easy look at this this whole panel comes off so you're going to have very good access to all the hydraulics inside so assembly aspects taken care of in 1998 2000 this is like you know that people in motorcycles used to add uh, oil separately you are aware of that it is such a pain right the whole area was mucky and people would slip and fall so we created this inside the same pump where the oil premix happens automatically i have a small you know meter there which will register the oil and for example a motorcycle guy says i want 5 ml chahiye whereas a, a scooter person will say i want 4 ml so we would change the amount of oil mix and automatically mix the oil in the petrol inside the pump and dispense it it was a big hit so that was the beauty of this and you know unfortunately z line could not do all these because z line was a very compact design it was a great design but it was compact to the point so look at the differentiations of how this new product because of new situations developed and then we we got the first order for bharat petroleum and the first order itself we installed in savri petrol pump over there and by this time the prototyping technologies were phenomenal that is they were so good that the prototype could be installed in the field whereas in when i did z line i installed it in some whole plant i was not very confident that it can be in the field but here the prototype was installed directly in the field and we got direct inputs of the product and it performed phenomenally well we had the mono on the dual pump installed in the station and and this was installed in a location which is bharat petroleum's officers quarters like all the dgms and all would stay there and every morning these people will come and fill petrol here now the bharat petroleum officers and instantly they gave a large order the first order pilot order itself was big around 200 numbers and then you know uh, this went into production so we rolled the sheet and fabricated it such a way that we can mimic the shape of a Nokia phone. At the same time, the cost of production was extremely low. So that is the beauty of this, you know, design. And we use special CNC fabrication. Look at all these uh, points from where my hose came out. Here we have a keypad design. We have an automatic dispensing. You want three liters? You can punch three liters. You can get three liters petrol. So we had special solenoids. So all those features were added into this. And on this side, we had a printer. So everything could be integrated, and these dimensions were very accurate, and they were all designed using CAD. So you had very, very good system in place. This is one part of the assembly line, which is called the test rig, and this one in the bottom, we have a huge tank in the factory. And what are we doing? Remember endurance testing at all for Z line. We are taking the fuel from the bottom of the tank, putting it back in the tank, continuously. for at least a day before these pumps are dispatched to the market in the production line endurance is separate but this is in the production line you have a test rig where you sort of test so now here we are so we you know we talked about how you know we built these teams and the network external team was very critical where all the vendors who supported us were phenomenal let it be the cnc aluminium pipe bending person or the cnc fabrication person or the person who gives all the components in the meters and the pumps the pumps were manufactured in coimbatore which is the largest sector in pump manufacturing so we got the best places from the best locations so you know though lnt was the largest company each individual component of this product was much better than the last lnt product so the suppliers the distributors the technology providers academic institutions me <laughs> so we have the external team we have the r&d institutions which they were talking at a lot about uh, you know uh, with uh, r&d institutions abroad to understand you know the flow of petrol we had uh, other consultants coming in we had lot of interesting user groups which are we called psychologists and user groups and went in huge production first order itself was big very nice to see those 
multiple products. You know, whenever it was like great pleasure to see you know large production happening because Bitco never produced so many parts. So by this time, it was already one and a half years. Now the first order, 200 numbers, we already jumped, and then there was a huge market penetration. Any new company which comes in wants a new pump, right? They won't want the Z line. It's already old. So they, you know, they took up these new pumps. So you know, we, we developed a lot of new pumps. So there was very, very tough competition to Larsen Tube Row because our costs were low. Lower cost, better product. And better longevity, more silent, easy to use. Remember, hose coming from the top. So at every level, at every level in the Sunflower model of innovation, we were, the new pump was better than the Z-Line pump. So in the year 2007, where did they reach? They reached 200 crores. So, you know, we uh, went forward and I think the company is still doing well after 10 years.